Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I'm going to be reviewing Streets Pro by Mark Kirsten. Before we do this, can you please like the video? Can you please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Real Magic Review? You can do it down there or there. And, uh, and press the little bell icon so you know when I go live. Or when I don't, because sometimes I can't do the live show, stuff happens last minute, and I put on the community that it doesn't happen and then people don't turn up, so that's good. But mostly it's uh, live shows every Thursday, uh, evening at 5 UK, where I answer all your questions and all your comments, so do comment below. And, uh, and visit cardmagiccourse.com, please. That is my online card magic course. It gets phenomenal reviews. People love it. It's huge. It's, uh, it's something I'm very proud of. Uh, so check that out and check all the links below afterwards because that's very important. Uh, that's what makes this all happen. So this is a very special thing that from Mark Kirsten. So Mark Kirsten is I'm a big fan of his. Uh, I've done reviewed amalgam, of course, Wiki Test, all those sort of things that I use, especially Wiki Test on a, just every time someone asks me to do something. Um, it's ready to go. It's there, and I finally got it nailed after a few hiccups. Weirdly, that I said hiccups as I was doing a hiccup then, because I've just done a bit of war. <laughs> so, hey, look at that. That's a coincidence, is it not? Uh, so, and um, and I did it. I had this big run of, when I first started doing it. I had a lot of online gigs and I kept doing something wrong and it was all totally my fault. And finally, when it came together, it was like, oh, this is so good. And so I love this stuff. And when this came out, I was like, oh, it's another thing, a sort of an addition maybe to Amalgam. And, uh, and it isn't. It's a whole standalone thing. And it's, I think, his most. Con- it's the most important release since um, Wiki, Wiki Test for that one reason that it's something that happens on their phone solely. You know, they get, you know, you send them something, they, uh, it all happens on their phone and you basically read their mind. It's brilliant. So this is the effect and you can, I, I won't go into it in loads of detail because you can see it on the trailers. Uh, he has done trailers for this um, and he's done whole performances uh, on the YouTube video on, on the whole performance of this. So I'll put the links below for that as well but basically you send them a google uh, pin drop they uh, open it up and it's got a place where they just told you anywhere in the world and then without even telling you anything they can go anywhere in the world they can zoom in look at a street and you basically tell them what street they're looking at with them giving you anything away were you there with work yes and you stayed you stayed overnight in this place didn't you i did yeah. it's somewhere where people would stay overnight it is yeah and this is somewhere Is it a hotel? It is a hotel. <laughs> is it the... I'm just going to go for it. Is it the Hilton Hotel in Delaware? It is. <laughs> 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 the Hilton Hotel in Delaware. What? 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 Um, I've got that in my Google Maps. Wow. Let me see if it... uh, Wow. Hotel Hilton Wellington. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. It's based on John Archer's original The Streets, which is great, uh, which is a physical book test where people open the book and look at any street. And then there was a version of The Streets on Amalgam, which you did on your phone, which was great, really good fun. And this is just taking it to a whole new level. And it's got some phenomenal stuff you can do with this. So. As they're looking at that place, you can tell them of various points of interest of the area they're looking. Um, there's loads of different ways of doing what you've got to do. I'm not going to go into them because I think if people do find this and they kind of have an idea, you know, they, they, I'll give too much away and I don't even want to go into detail. So it's kind of a weird review in that way. So there's a couple of things that I wasn't going to mention, but I've been in correspondence with Mark and he's absolutely cool that I mention it, which I think are really important. One is this idea of the live peak. Now, live peak is something that was part of Wikitest, where you can basically say to someone, type something in the search bar, actually, no, don't press, you know, delete that and change your mind. And what you do later is you come back to the thing that they, before they changed their mind. So he said, there's something you didn't even search. And, and this is really specific to him. And it's something that just, the, the effect is amazing anyway. But with that extra thing, you've got this added thing that kind of takes it away from being you wrote a word I know what it is and the next thing which I wasn't quite getting my head around and again this is this app reveals more and more as do a lot of them 
that you, you really want to take it away from, as he says, being something like you wrote a thing and I know what it is. So after the initial thing of, okay, actually don't search it, delete it, zoom around the map and uh, sorry, scan around the map and then zoom in. So you've got this idea that they're thinking of a place and then finding the place and going into a place where they would don't know. So they haven't really written anything the second time. And I think that's really important and something that I wasn't quite understanding of making it more of a mind reading experience, which goes on to the next thing. There is so much in this that I wasn't going to mention that I am. And I, again, I've got to be a little bit vague, but what, one of the other things that you can do is start telling them things about the place that they're looking at that, that they might not even be looking at. So you can say, um, and I have mentioned it in, in the review, the points of interest, is the places where you can go for a drink around there, the other things that, that, wouldn't necessarily, that make it feel like you're kind of in their head a little bit, then is here's the thing that you're you're thinking of or you're looking at and i hadn't quite grasped that and and played with that as much as i need to so there's that and then there are other ways of getting the information there's a built-in progressive anagram thing that is that originates from the jerks's work the jerks is the jerks work the jerks is work yeah uh of a brilliant way of, of, again, building up the idea of the street that you're going to mention without you having to put, having to do a load of memory work. So they're very, there's no memory work or anything in this. And there are other ways of doing that. I'm not going to go into all of them, but there are other ways of reinforcing this idea that you're in their head and you're reading their mind. And that's all I'll say. So I think I've done it just, it's, there's, again, there's a lot. So do ask questions in the comments and we can get to them and I can answer your questions on a Thursday. There's probably going to be a few questions about this. Right, let's get back to it. It's brilliant. It's something that is going to get even more brilliant. And, and, and Mark is still updating Wikitest. He came out of updates of Wikitest. He's still updating Amalgam. He's still updating constantly these things. I don't know how these guys get the time to do it. He's on really active on the Facebook page. Always is. If anybody's got any problems, he'll come straight in. And again, even from stuff that's been out a long time. Uh, so I'm really excited. So it's kind of at that level now. It's just been released. So there are a few little kinks. There are a few things happening where you kind of go on the Facebook page and just say, oh, this is happening. I'll go, oh, okay, we'll sort that out. And then the next update comes out like a day later. And it's sorted. So that's we're still at that phase, but it's it's all performable and it's all great. I will say about it, and I think we're getting to a point now with apps where it, they're kind of like other tricks where you've got to learn them. Okay, when apps first came out, it was like a thing that did a thing. You know, that's cute. It does that. This is now something you've really got to learn. And I've performed this probably four or five times, quite weekly, and not got the. The, the, the reactions that I wanted to get because I did something that gave a little kind of thing away or that wasn't subtle enough. And it's only just a, the last two times I've done it, I've gone, right, I've got it now. And this is all performance. This is the way you perform it. And, the, you know, even where you're putting your body and, what, and the way you're making it look really, really um, uh, innocent. And, and there's a way of using your phone in this. So it's not like you've got to hide your phone away that makes complete sense, but it's doing that in the right way. So I will say it's something that has to be learned and practiced. It's not something you can get, go out and, you know, without any, without any training. And that's why I, I think it's, I feel really good now because I've just done it and it's just gone really, really nicely. And the response is brilliant. Like, all right, that, I'm there now. I've got the rhythm. I've got the routine. I know what I'm doing. I know when to say the certain things. And I know how to kind of work it to that level where it's just going to get that, what? And that's where we are. And actually, you've seen the footage. I've got my phone there. You know, I'm kind of looking at it because I'm saying I'm going to follow along on my map. Uh, and it makes complete sense. And there's a, a few little subtleties on this that if you, you can just sort of read past them, but then you realise that that's the big convincer. So, you know, little things like at the end, I can say, look, and on, on my phone, I'm in exactly the same place as you, and it, which actually got a really strong response. So there's not much more to say about this other than what I've said already, really, the, the only negatives are it's going to take practice. You're going to get the you will get the odd time you do it and you go, oh, I wish I, I could have done that better. Um, but the, the way it works is really clever. So the connection you can get and I'm really looking forward to, to when I can do this smoothly, almost like a camera wiki test. Now I can do that without worrying. You know, that's a big thing at the moment. I'm going to go and oh, this goes all right. Uh, so that's great. So check out the links below. Um, 
and uh, and do watch Mark's performance video of it and do keep an eye on the updates uh, because it's just going to get better and better. He added something today that was brilliant that involves the Confederate, which he goes, it's just really, really clever. Um, and I will say that, you know, you can do it on your own or if you've got someone to help you, it's, you know, you've, you've got a lot of um, uh, heat off you, but you can do it on your own. It's great. So uh, that is Streets Pro. Uh, from Mark Kirsten. Have a look at the links below. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, check out carbmagiccourse.com and have a great one. Cheers.